That no good. Better over here, isn't it? Sump pump. And what did I call it? Condensate removal pump. feet long these screws and they have to be on the screw to get them out there we go one nice copper motor a little bit of cast Ooh, looks like a little brass on the inside of that one we still got to get the rest of that off I don't know how we're gonna do that Looks like it might be a float or something. I don't know. Like I said, I've never taken one of these apart before, so I have no idea. I don't have my saws all in here. I just snip it off because there's another piece of nice cast there. I guess we're going to open this up. Let's go faster, let's go faster. Those might be stainless steel screws, considering you're dealing with water, right? It still doesn't get me out of there. How was that put together? Okay, there's something up here that needs to come off. This part sits in the water. I'm thinking it's kind of like a pump because it squirts out the hose. Yeah, it's a little impeller. That's what it is. Okay. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, we're educating ourselves. Right? It's got a nice little hydro cord to go with it. It is a good one because it's soft. Brown and blue? Whatever happened to black and white? Yeah, we'll deal with you later. Maybe you're not as good as I'm thinking you might be. Okay, we're going to try and pry this guy up. Can you see me over here? I'm over there at the vise. Okay. This is plastic. In the dumps you go. This is heavy galvanized steel. This is cast. Another piece. Iron. Irony aluminum. Or dirty aluminum. Whatever your yard calls it. cast aluminum that is brass because it is breaking the brass is brittle when it's in this form and this looks like oh it might be copper you might be copper it would be nice to find out for sure Sure. 
I don't know if that's red gold or yellow gold. Cuts easy. Yeah, that's copper. Ooh, copper. Copper number two. We're getting ready to copper pipes. Next, we got another chunk on this end. Oh, they really make these expensively. Sort of kind of. I already said we'd be using this one. Wreck them. a little brass nugget out. We'll check them. Yep. In the brass bucket you go. You just need this little piece out and I think I can use this now. You know. Here we go. This one's copper too. Well, that would be kind of silly to do one and not the other, right? I think it is. <laughs> cool. Cool. Cast aluminum, clean cast aluminum, brass, copper. Oh, this motor's full of good stuff. So I'm saying, if you come across one, pick it up. Because we still have the motor yet. A little bit of copper there, and a lot of copper there, and this thing is heavy. And uh, this one will pop right apart like I do all the electric motors usual way, right? Voila! We just gotta take this guy out. Shred steel. I know some of you guys get heavy steel or whatever for them. I don't, so that's why I say it's Shred steel. Now you can see I'm going to be taking this little bit of copper out. I do that with all the motors. Clip there. Clip there. I have no idea what this is for. Oh, oh, oh. Nice chunks of copper. Let's throw it in with my number two wire. Oh. It's not cooperating today. Come on. No. Yeah. Lose them. And they want to come up the other end. That's fine. One end or the other. I don't mind. <laughs> Boom. Here we have it. That's the one. We just got to do the other one yet. I'm doing the other. Let go of my gloves. <laughs> yeah. Today. Oh, come. Huh. There we go. That's half of it. She wants to come out this way instead. That's fine. I don't mind. We're coming out one way or the other, right? Couple seconds to do that. Now it's empty. 
We just got this guy to do yet. piece there that likes to hang you up. Voila. Here. Can you see that alright? It's just a big slinky. Nice ball of copper. Boom. Just like that. Alrighty. So yeah, if you see one of them kicking around, pick it up. It's kind of worth the time, I think. You saw what we got out of that. For you scrappers anyways, if you don't scrap, then just leave it there. I think it's worth it. A little bit of hydro wire. <clears throat> you don't got to deal with that yet. A little higher, please. Come on. Can you see that all right? It's right there on the bench, guys. Hopefully, you can see that. Here, I'll move you a little closer. I'm just going to pull the brass ends out of it. Oh, these are going to be trickier. There we go. A little bit of plastic on you. I want the plastic. It's going to come off. I know it's minute, but they want it clean. And they are brass. You gotta put it in a bucket where it belongs. The bucket's right behind you. These always pop open like that. I think they're just like a clip. You can see how brassy it was. And more plastic. There. Copper is allowed to be on it because brass is made from copper and some other nutrients. There you have it. Now that's a clean end. You don't even have to cut it off and waste half an inch. Put it in with your bucket of shred or shred. Put it in your bucket of uh, number two copper. This is what I took apart earlier today. The reason why it looks like that is I tried to get it out of there, but I got that little valve thingy out of it. There was a little, like an air valve. So that's all brass. It was in the brass bucket. Number two copper. That's still left over from that. The uh, AC unit I took apart. So that's considered number two. Something I need to do. I need two bigger buckets, one for the extruded aluminum, one for the copper. Fire's getting lower. Here, it's hiding under there. See, that's where I threw the brass. The bucket's almost full. That came off of one of them clocks. 
Both ends were brass, and that's brass. That was a bonus. Yeah, I came in here with an extra coat on, but I haven't had it on. See, that's why I need to put that in a regular button. In a, they're just in the five gallon pails and they're overflowing. And same with the copper back there. I gotta go through it yet. Some of it is number one, some of it's number two. That's all number one, so it's sorted. Have to do that yet. That's ironing aluminum. There's bits of steel with the aluminum, so that's extruded. See, I had to start another bucket of extruded. That's what that stuff is. So. Yes, my hoard is not shrinking, it's just changing shape. So it's going on to 2.30 in the afternoon. I'm going to continue playing with this stuff. Got more, oh, there's a little motor in there I can play with too. Good. I'm going to get him out of there. He's full of copper. Lots of copper. I think we'll rip them apart right now. What do you think? Hey, see the see the bench, vice. It's getting something attached to them down there. But it might have been the turbo that was on it. We just need to take these clips off. Two water tear downs. Ooh. Just like that. Come on. Ain't much to it. We'll have to do the same on this side, I think. No? Doesn't look like it. There's a clip. You should let go. <laughs> Fine. There. Yeah, just iron the aluminum. That was the clip that was holding. I was looking at this trying to hope him to get him out of there. I think he's going to force me to open it all the way up. I think, I think, I think. Well, we can... I really don't know what's holding it on the back side. Find out. It's just gonna come apart. We're just gonna twist and bend off of this. Okay, your tack welded. That explains it. It's tack welded. I don't think it's going to let us break it. You hook my glove to you, little bugger. These clocks are getting to be annoying. Yeah, it's got little tack welds there and there. It didn't didn't have any clips like the front piece. Well, let's cut these wires off, and then I'm gonna try a little trick. Are you moving to the grooving? 
Yes, you are. Okay. That's going to stop you. Okay, peel this open. Which other one? So that means it's sliding down. That's good. All right. There. I'm crushing it, see? We're going to do this grinderless today. I'd take a couple minutes. <laughs> I know I could have zipped it with the grinder already, but. That ain't gonna stay there. You know what? We're gonna hit it with a grinder. Woo! Are you happy now? I just don't like the smell and taste of the grinders stuff, that's all. That's why I don't like using them. There. I know it was quicker than what I was doing, but what I was doing you weren't gonna taste it. So to get these out you gotta cut Cut, 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 and then try and pull it out the other end. I don't know how burnishy these are. It's a lot of plastic. At least it is copper. All right. That is a bonus part. Breaking the copper too. Not the best idea, but this stuff is a little more brittle than normal.
Still seeing this all right? came out with it. No, 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 we don't want you. Somebody's flying around and playing me in today. Come on. A piece of plastic there. Bingo, look, get all the plastic off, get some copper on it too, the little motor I took apart a few minutes ago there, well, this one has the same idea, just a little different, I forgot they did that, get this plastic out so it's out of my way. Okay, see that? It's got them little bits of copper on it too. I have to try and get that off yet. Waste not want not, right? Yeah, I'll see if I can get you in closer. But anyways, we'll dispose of what we took out of it already. This. So it's where it belongs. Now these guys take a little bit of different finesse. Okay, it's this side that it's got the little solder joint on it. Huh, it's stuck right in there. It's a different way to ground it. Well, it's, it's not even copper wire. I think we'll attack it from this side, see how that works. one piece it's not not that hard to get it off because there is a little groove right there come on <laughs> okay make a liar out of me why don't you there we go See? That one's off. <laughs> you dirty bugger, you. Spin around on me like that. What do we need to do to you yet? Okay. Okay, you become very loose. four pieces and they're pretty heavy actually I think they can go in with the copper piping what do you think put it with the wire 
It's considered wire. It's like flat wire. And there it goes. One motor is done. So there you have it. Woo! Just before it switches over to another video. Like, subscribe, and share or not. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. It's only 2.30 in the afternoon. So I'm going to clean up in here. Maybe organize them buckets a little bit. I think I'm going to sacrifice one of my garbage cans for that. You'll find out later on this week and uh, how much the prices have changed. I called him and talked to him and he said wait till next week because they're still on holiday hours. So today is next week already. So we'll find out. I know that hasn't changed. It's either five or seven cents a pound. So we'll go from there and I'll give you a heads up next week as the wife and I do curbside. Yeah, that's going to be fun in the dark. And it's snowing. <laughs> Wind up beetle.